two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment for my entire life. It's alluring, it's compelling, it's gripping to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories, ideas, rivalries, where they feel encouraged and engaged, where they involve themselves with the stories and become a product of influence. Thirsty for a distraction from time unspent spoiling their minds, yet stimulating them at the same time. It's brilliant, and it's dangerous. I feel as if I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. One follows another, follows another, follows another. It's mesmerizing. It's spellbinding. All these little consumers, all of these lost and bored people, people consuming anything that they're told to consume. So I am the villain because I've made myself one. And you will continue to consume these stories about me year after year after year for as long as I tell the internet that I am the villain. Stories that permeate and linger and infect the minds of the ants, influence the ants, brainwash the ants, you are the ants. Today I woke up from a very long dream. And I also woke up having lost 250 pounds off of my body. Yet just yesterday, people 150 pounds off of my body. Yet just yesterday, people were calling me fat and sick and boring and irrelevant. People. People are the most messed up creatures on the entire planet. And yet I've still managed to stay two steps ahead of everyone. The joke's on you. Obtain YouTube Music Premium. Con este... Botoncito. Oh. Oh, Mr. Noodle, you're so cute. Oh, you're so yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah. You like that. You look like a big green ball. Yeah, you look like a big green avocado.
two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment I've come to know. Certainly the greatest social experiment of my entire life. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping. To bear witness, to observe all these unwell, unbalanced, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories, in search of ideas, of conflict, of rivalries, where people develop a distinctive desire for direct engagement, where people feel involved with the stories and therefore become product of influence. Thirsty for distraction from time unspent, from lackluster lifestyles, spoiling their minds while stimulating them the exact same time. It's brilliant, but it's also dangerous. It's dangerous. I feel as if my life has been positioned to where I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. One follows another, follows another, follows another. It's, it's mesmerizing, it's enthralling, it's spellbinding. Just look at all these consumers, all of these lost and bored people consuming anything that they're told to consume. I am the villain, but I make myself one. And people will consume these stories year after year after year. Stories that, stories that shock, that confuse, stories that are deliberately made to blur the boundaries between fact and fiction stories that permeate, infect, and linger in the minds of the ants. Influence the ants. Brainwash the ants. You are the ant. I woke up this morning to money deposited into my account for simply not doing something, for simply not going through with something. People are the most fucked up creatures on this planet. And you will continue to consume. And I'll continue to be two steps ahead. Two steps ahead. I am.
Hey y'all, it's Pearl. Nikocado Avocado is back after two years and dropped a bomb. He's lost 250 pounds and has a lot to Hey y'all, it's Pearl. Nikocado Avocado is back after two years and dropped a bomb. He's lost 250 pounds and has a lot to say about it. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates on the latest drama and news you don't wanna miss. Irrelevant news. Nikocado Avocado has officially returned to the internet with two videos published to two separate channels. I don't even know if people like me <laughs> or if they wanna hear from me. I haven't made a video for like two years. In one of the videos, Nikocado featured a classic mukbang of over 5,000 calorie cheesy spicy noodles. We are having spicy cheesy noodles. This is probably over five Which is my favorite fruit ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you good bird. Oh, Mr. Noodle, I knew you liked that. You miss me so much. You miss me so much, I know. It was eight years separate. Or longer. I know. How many years was it? How many years? Tell me. How many years were we separate for? Too many, yeah. I know, my baby. I had no choice. I had no choice. But daddy's back. We're, we're back home. Should be do. We're home. Hello. We're back home. Should be do. And I'm back here with all of you. And it was a long eight years, wasn't it? It was a long eight years. And I didn't think that it would have gone this long, but it did. And it was like a bad dream that, yeah, it was like a really bad dream that we were waiting for it to be over. And it's over. It was just a dream. It was just a dream, Mr. Noodle, wasn't it? Yeah. It feels like a bad dream. Um, but we woke up. We woke up. <laughs> yeah. We're so excited. We woke up. Yay! We woke up from the bad dream. And, um, I'm back. And Mr. Noodle is back. And here we are. We're back home, shooby doo Say good morning, Mr. Noodle. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my studio for the second time. They don't know that we did this yesterday, but I'm actually gonna tell them we did this yesterday. We are redoing the video because my file got corrupted, I don't know how, and it had like an error mark on it when I was editing it. I'm like, oh my God. But this is the universe telling me I have to eat more, right? Right, Mr. Noodle? You are so cute. How's it going, Mr. Noodle? Did you miss me? Did you miss all the peasants? Hey, it's been like eight years. Are you gonna say hi? I might put little pieces here and there when I'm editing this for you guys to kind of see what we did yesterday, which was whack me noodles. But we're gonna do it again for a second time. These are my favorite spicy noodles of all time. If I had to choose one, it would be black bean noodles, wouldn't it, Mr. Noodle? Um, I love them, they're so good. And these come from a Chinese Korean place and they make them hand pulled and they stretch them out by hand. You can see them in the restaurant going like this. They're super chewy, they're very chewy and very, very long. I actually think they cut them to make it easier for you to slurp them. The spicy black bean noodles, they are. Oh, my baby, I love you. I really missed you. I missed you a lot, Mr. Noodle. It was a long dream. As I said, 
that dream has come to an end. It was just a dream, thank God. It's all over, we were just dreaming. I just took off the fat suit, went whoosh. Yeah, I just took it off and here I am. And um, I noticed yesterday when I ate it, it had a lot of onion, a lot of like vegetables and pork and potato. It was so good. And we're gonna do it again. And I'm really excited. And um, yeah, it's kind of crazy doing this again, but that's life. We just placed the order, so we'll pick it up and then we're gonna have some black bean noodles, aren't we, Mr. Noodle? Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Noodle. I think Mr. Noodle really likes being in here. Pagar por todas estas suscripciones realmente es una suma. Entonces, ¿por qué no tener YouTube Premium? What's that, Noodle? What's that? Oh, so you get a taste test before I do. This is like kind of not fair. <laughs> Oh my god. Here, let me give you your mush. What? Well, here. Try some of this. Oh my god. This is the life. This is the life. Oh my gosh. This looks incredible. <gasps> Mr. Noodle. Oh, I gotta have this. This is this. It this is worth my soul. This is worth everything in my soul. He seems to like it too. <laughs> this is why I live life. I love spicy black bean noodles. And um, by the way, if you're new to my well, Mr. Noodle can't taste spice. They don't have the receptors for it, and actually. Spicy pepper is really good for their immune system, so the vet and people, they always recommend to give. So I'm just kind of mixing this around since I put those Five thousand calories of cheesy noodles. Cheers, everyone. to a new era. Nikocado wore a panda head during one segment, delivering a cryptic and reflective monologue that left fans speculating about its deeper meaning. Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment of my entire life. Nikocado Avocado addressed being labeled as a villain in the YouTube space. Popping on it. But it's incredible. Now, I'm also going to have to put a little bib on because this is about to get real wild. Ooh. You love your mushy peas. <laughs> Cheers, everybody, to a new era.
We were all just dreaming. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Mr. Noodle, this is so good. Mmm. Perfection. It's spicy, it's savory. I'm gonna focus on Noodle. Is the camera focused on Mr. Noodle? I want you to like really see here. Put you here. Yeah. Put you there. Mr. Noodle.